What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Tom Trips Out. And in this episode, I'm gonna talk about payments and money in Vietnam compared to Cambodia. My name's Tom, this is my trip out. Well hey everybody, come along with me. Take a trip to a place to find what I see. Make me believe to see the joy they bring. And how much it costs to try new things will. Come and watch me on the trip out. We out here. I'm here. It's my second day in Ho Chi Minh, and I woke up and I decided to walk in the opposite direction to check out uh, different streets. So now I'm out here, and we're gonna walk around and explore and talk about uh, the currency and money here in Vietnam, and ways you can pay for things, and and how it's different in Cambodia compared to here. All right, let's go. So it's. Uh, Really nice morning. I've noticed the weather here is is just slightly less hot than uh, Cambodia. It's like instead of 36 or 37, it's like 30 or 31 or something. It's still hot, but so money. So before leaving Cambodia to come here, I made sure to. Uh, I thought I was being smart, and I took out I took out a hundred dollars U.S. and brought it with me, and I thought that way I don't have to like. Because I have a Cambodian bank account, but I don't have like a debit card for that. They just use an app for everything. So if I want to use an ATM here in Vietnam, I'd have to use my Canada one, which is fine. But then I think on both ends they add a fee, and sometimes your home bank will add like ten dollars on. So I thought I'll bring a hundred cash US, and then you know I just figure out ah, anywhere you can change that. And it wasn't it wasn't as uh, easy as I thought. But I did, I found a currency exchange and I went and I did it, but when I first arrived here to my hotel, and you can check out that video too, it's kind of a very cheap homestay and it's a just a local lady that runs it and everything. And her cash register is a notepad with a pen. <laughs> she can't change US dollars for me and she can't take credit card and she can't, she's standing there, doesn't have time or anything. She has to, she's just showing up to let me in and then leave again. So she walked me to an ATM and then I used my Canada card and I just took out exactly enough for the hotel. So yesterday was the first time I ever withdrew a million. Hey. Oh, no, thank you. So that there's people on motorbikes here that uh, they'll offer you a ride. Because they don't have tuk-tuks here, so you just get on the back of someone's bike. But I, I'll talk about that in a different video. In Phnom Penh where I live, I could have went to Central Market area and there's a lot of currency exchange and gold and jewelry stores. Those types of places can change money too. And I should have just got like 2 million uh, or whatever, 2.5 million dong, which would have been like 90 bucks or something. And that would probably be all the cash I really need. And So I learned that if you're coming to Ho Chi Minh, well, if you're flying and you go through the airport, you can easily change your money at the airport, but I took a bus. So, you're probably wondering, like, what's the exchange rate here? If, uh, if I had to take out a million, like, how much dong equals one US dollar? Well, the answer, it's about 25,000 dong is one dollar. I'm doing, having to do math all the time. The money they have here, they don't have any coins, so it's all paper, just like Cambodia. So in Vietnam, I've only been here for a day, but what I've noticed is it feels like it's very similar to Cambodia because I'm still in Southeast Asia. But it's like we've gone 10 years in the future. Things are built up way more and uh, much more well kept. I noticed like a lot of public transit going by all the time. They're way more like developed of a city. And then when you go places, a lot of places will accept debit and credit card and, you know, tapping your card and all that, just like how we would do in, in, the, in the Western world. When I took out that money too, I just took out only enough for the hotel. So I got settled in and then I thought I'll have to go get some food now. And then I was back in the same situation. But so I just went to like a proper restaurant instead of just a street vendor. So I figured a real restaurant will take credit cards. I have a credit card too. And I did a live stream from there. It's that Waikiki restaurant tiki bar thing. 
And I went there twice yesterday because I, after the first time, like I know they take credit cards. So I just went right back there again and they were good. So yeah, they take debit, they take credit card. If you try to do that in Cambodia, you, it's way more limited. You can't, you can't do it everywhere in Cambodia. So I took out some cash just so I can show you an example of what the money looks like here. So I'll go one at a time. Hey you! Yeah you! Have you ever wondered how you could move abroad and be teaching English? Check out the link in the description. A-V-S-E. It's a government accredited course. It's four weeks and it takes place in the country. And you get lined up with a job placement afterwards. It's also offered online if you'd rather chip away at it at home. And they have a separate program just for job assistance. Check out the link below. If you decide to go for it, put Tom Trips out. It really helps to support my channel. All right, back to the video. So this is the 500,000, half a million. And you can even see this clear part, like it's it's made of polymer. It has that plasticky feel to it, kind of. This is 100,000. And same thing, it has the polymer feel. 200,000. So that's like eight bucks. And then this one's only 1,000. It just feels like normal old paper. That's another point I thought of. Like, you might wonder if, uh, if, they, if maybe they accept US here. Like, even though they have their own currency, there's sometimes countries like Cuba or like Cambodia, for instance, is a dual currency. It's no, it's not. They don't accept US here. And then just looking around and being in the stores here, and I bought a pho soup yesterday. The prices here for food are much cheaper than Cambodia. And even though Cambodia is already cheap. Like in Cambodia, a pho could maybe be $4.50 for a really nice one. And here it was like $2.20, so it's like half the... So I thought, oh, I hope the quality is good. And it was the best pho I had in my life. <laughs> it was only for $2.20. Uh, the convenience store I went to, they have 7-Elevens here that have all the food inside and then other convenience stores, now they try to mimic 7-Elevens so they also have like hot food and everything. I went to one called Mini Stop and I noticed everything in there is cheaper too. Like I got an isotonic drink, like a Gatorade style drink. And in Cambodia that could be like 85 cents or 70 cents, something like that. And it was only uh, like 39 cents here. Everything's a bit cheaper here, and I think because in Cambodia they have to really import and bring in like almost everything, and so yeah, everything has like, uh, the price has to go up a little bit in Cambodia for everything. Yeah, if you have any questions about anything I've said in this video, just leave a comment below, or you could reach out to me on Instagram, you know, if, or if I've said something wrong, you can correct me. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And until next time, remember, how you spend your days is the way you spend your life. It's never too late to start tripping out.